Hey guys, and welcome to a video on the basics of AFK fishing. So first of all, why should you AFK fish? Well, AFK fishing is quite possibly the best and easiest AFK life skill in the game. Processing can certainly beat AFK fishing for a more active player, but for anyone that just wants to log in two or three times a day, once where they go to bed, once where they go to work, maybe once when they get home, Fishing is usually an amazing source of money, can make you millions of silver a night, can give you lots of relic shards that you can use to go and make get yourself a lot of memory fragments with, or just sell them for even more silver. And it's really easy to do. All you need is a fishing rod, inventory space, maybe a fishing costume, and go find yourself a decent hotspot to start fishing at. So to start off with, the most important thing for fishers is inventory space. You need as much inventory space as possible because each fish you catch, for example cherry salmons and crucian carps over here, will take up a spot in your inventory. They do not stack, except for the koi here, but that's a special event item. Most normal fish do not stack. Neither do ancient relic crystal shards, although the silver keys that can also be fished up do stack. So the more inventory space you have, the longer you can spend AFK fishing. The longer you spend AFK fishing, the more time you can be AFK. So if you want to AFK for maximum amounts of time, you'll probably want over 100 inventory slots just so that you can AFK for a good amount of time. Now, secondly, you're going to want pretty much the most important thing for a fisher, the fishing rod. So there's a few different types of fishing rod in the game. You can purchase them on the marketplace or from... Fisher people, the there's a few vendors in the game that will sell fishing rods, but for the most part, you want the ones from the marketplace. So if you go to fishing tools, you can see there's Balanos fishing rods, which are probably the best one for AFK fishing, and then there's also the Aferia fishing rod. So the one you really want if you're AFK fishing is the Balanos fishing rod, and that's because a Balanos fishing rod has the item effect of reducing auto fishing time by 10%. So if I go over to mine here, you can see that for every enhancement level you get on it, you will take off an additional 1% of auto fishing time, which is pretty good. It also has the effect, it's one of the very few rods that as you upgrade it, you see it will gain uh, durability. So the base balance rod has a durability of 50, mine over here has a durability of 70, against 5 durability for every enhancement level. This is important because every time you fish an object up, you will use 1 durability. So if you really want to spend your whole night fishing, you don't just need inventory spots, you need to have enough durability on your fishing rod. The Aferia fishing rod has more durability per up enhancement level. So if I just quickly search Aferia over here, you can see that for every enhancement level for the Aferia rod, it goes up by plus 10, but it doesn't have the auto fishing uh, enhancement increase that the Balanus rod does. And you can also get something called a Brand Stone. So if you look right here, on when I bring up the rod, so right underneath the plus four, right around here, you'll see it says brand. And my other items I have with me do not say that. That is because I branded this. Branding is a pearl shop item. I believe it costs 400 pearls, maybe 800 pearls. And what branding does is it halves the durability loss of an item. Now this works when you're grinding or getting killed, but it also works for fishing, which means your fishing rod my Balanus fishing rod has an, a real durability of 140. Now the reason we go Balanus over Aferia, even though Aferia would give you much higher durability, is you can only fish up so much. AFK fishing is an incredibly simple activity. You equip your rod, you find a body of water, and you press space. That's all you do. You also tick throw away useless items caught during auto fishing. And up till now, this is all exactly the same as regular fishing. If I was regular fishing, once I got, once my character feels a bite, I would then press space, play a little mini game, play another little mini game, and fish up a fish. When AFK fishing, though, once you get a bite, you wait three minutes. At the end of the three minute wait time, your character will automatically reel in the fish, no need for a mini game, and then automatically cast out his rod again. So, because it takes three minutes, every reduction for AFK fishing time that you can get is much appreciated. 
for those of you lucky enough to have one, the penguin uh, also has a fishing reduction, I believe. Yep, special auto fishing reduce. So having a penguin out, if you have one, is also a good idea. And so the Balanos Rod, you're not going to use all your durability in a night once you get it to a certain upgrade levels, unless you don't have it branded. And even if you do, uh, do ha not have it branded, once you get around plus 8, plus 9, unless you're gone for more than about 8 or 9 hours at a time, you're still going to have trouble using all your durability in a single night. So branding your fishing rod and just getting in a few enhancement levels is a great idea, and that's the reason we go Balanos over a Feria. Next up, there's no debate about this, get yourself a silver embroidered fisher's clothes. Once again, go to the marketplace. Uh, it's in armor, and it's under functional clothes. You can purchase an unupgraded one, or you can try to snipe a plus one or plus two yourself. I would just purchase yourself a bunch of unupgraded ones and smash them together at around... I use zero fail stacks for plus one and about eight to nine fail stacks for plus two. And get yourself a fisher's outfit. This will increase your fishing ability, which increases the... or decreases the time it takes for you to get a fish on the line. And it increases the amount of fishing experience you gain. So it's kind of like a win-win as the higher your fishing ex level, the better you are at fishing. So you also use up your fishing rod's durability more slowly, which is pretty nice. So as you can see, I've felt a bite, which means the auto-fishing timer has now begun. So the outfit, it's pretty important. You don't need the cash shop outfit. There is a cash shop outfit you can get. Uh, I believe it's actually a costume. The Splat Fisher's Clothes set. But it's not that important, so you can kind of ignore it, unlike the uh, Karki suit, which you absolutely do need if you want to get into AFK processing. So after the outfit, the most important thing is getting and selling the fish. So getting the fish, that is the where. Where to get fish, there's a lot of good places for absolute beginners, I would just go to the Velia hotspot. So the Velia hotspot, you can't miss it. If you go to Velia, right over here, and then you just kind of walk it onto the beach just a little bit, around here-ish, you will see a huge mass of players sitting on the beach fishing. You can't miss it. They're all going to be there. And you just go over there and you fish, and you will have a much better chance of getting a higher quality fish. If you look at the fish currently in my inventory, because this is in the hotspot, you'll see their price is pretty low. Uh, this one trades for 9,600 silver. This one was only 3,700. Same with this one. So the price is pretty bad for these fish. In the value hotspot, you will regularly get fish worth over 30 to 40,000 silver. And it's you can finish the night off with several million silver uh, worth of fish and ancient relic crystal shards in your inventory. As you get a bit more experience, there are better places to go than the Velia Hotspot. What a lot of players will do is they'll go over to the Ross Sea over here. So I only go right here. And they'll fish over here, and then they'll connect these nodes, and they'll sell as far away as possible. And the reason we do this is because fisher, oh, well, fishing, but fish are a trade good. Uh, you sell fish not to a vendor, but to the trader in town. You go to the trader, and you sell them, which means that they are constrained by the same rules as trade goods. So there you see my character, he finished fishing. Uh, no idea what he got. But yeah, we he finished fishing, he fished something up, and now I can go sell the fish. So when you're moving around, uh, I would always put away the fishing rod. And what I do is I just bind it to one of my hotkeys so that I can always put it back on. Normally I have a weapon on, but I took the weapon off this character as I'm trying to switch his gear around. And that way you can just switch from your fishing rod and start moving normally. So fish are a trade good, which means to sell them, you want to find the nearest trade manager and you want to sell them the fish. Well, the nearest trade manager, you also need to connect the node. So you can see the origin of whatever fish you caught. So this one is Breed Tree Ruins. And you need to have the node invested in. So I've got the Breed Tree Ruins. And you need to have that node connected to wherever you're going to sell the fish. 
So Bree Tree Ruins I've got connected here, then over to Florin, Crudo Cave, Old Dandelion, and down to the Northern Wheat Plantation where I plan to sell these fish. Uh, and that's, I could get a slightly better price if I went to Calpheon, but it's really just not worth it for me to do so, as the, the fish that I have right now in my inventory are honestly pretty much trash fish that are worth nothing. So I don't feel like bargaining because, well, they're trash fish, so I'll just sell them all for a measly profit. So trading... There's a lot more to get into about trading the uh, your fish. Uh, there's a lot of micromanaging and optimization you can do. There's a lot to look into. But if you're just kind of concerned with the basics, if you're selling from the Velia hotspot, uh, I would recommend connecting to Heidel over here. Oops, not there. Uh, connecting over to Heidel and just selling over at Heidel. You could also go and connect over to Alvia. Uh, so that you can go like this, so from Coastal Cave all the way down. And make sure that if you, usually you're fishing in Velia, so you will have it connected. But if you, the hotspot does extend slightly into the Coastal Cave. So if you find that you're fishing in the Coastal Cave, make sure you connect the node before selling it. Or else you will lose a large amount of silver when selling your fish, like 70% worth. So for new players, yeah, I would just connect either to Alvia or to Heidel. Heidel is probably easier as you want to connect over there anyways. Later on, you can connect down to like Tariff or over to Glish or something. But to start off with, you don't want to go through too much of a hassle selling these fish. Just take the fish, either sell them in Velia or connect them to Heidel and Alvia and go to sell them there. Now you do have other things uh, to note when selling fish. Though These are the Imperial Trader, because there's an Imperial Fish Trader that you can sell the fish to, who will give you a very good price for your fish and also what to do with your ancient crystal relic shards. So these things, ancient relic crystal shards. So the Imperial Trader, basically if you have been, try to make sure my horse doesn't throw me off there. If you've been fishing uh, and you see a notification come up that the Imperial Trade delivery has been reset, you should go and try to sell your fish to the Imperial Trader. You can usually find, you can find one of the docks of Velia, and I believe they're in any coastal town. Um, you can also find them just by pressing Imperial Delivery, and that'll guide you to the closest Imperial Delivery. And they will give you a much better price for your fish than normal traders will. The other thing you want to uh, note is Ancient Relic Crystal Shards. Now Ancient Relic Crystal Shards, you have two major options. Option one, simply oh also always make sure that you repair your rod your rod even though it has a max durability like i said you use its durability up which means every time you go to start fishing again you should try to repair your rod and so that you don't find yourself with like 10 fish and a totally expired rod at the end of the night and then realize that you fished for like 30 minutes and then had to stop make sure you repair your rod anyways ancient Relic Crystal Shards, you have two options. One, you can run them yourself. So to run them, you simply put them together into the form of a plus. If you press this, it'll combine them into your little disco ball thing. And then you can go run them in somewhere in California. It's near Kaplan. Uh, and get yourself a lot of memory fragments. As long as you're about level 51, 52, you should be able to do it fairly easily. The other thing you can do is if you don't want the hassle of having to run them, Simply sell them on the marketplace. They sell for about eight hundred to nine hundred thousand silver each. So if you have a value pack, you will be making about seven to eight hundred thousand silver per ancient relic crystal shard. As you can see here, I currently have twenty of them, which means I'll make about fifteen million silver. So they do increase the amount of silver you gain from fishing quite substantially. Now it is a pain to buy memory fragments, so if you have the time to run them, you should absolutely try to run them if you can. But if you're a newer player and you really just want to earn some quick cash, it's not really a mistake to sell them because they do sell f for quite a decent amount of silver. And the several million silver you gain per night in Relic Crystal Shards can easily be converted into some pretty good gear, especially for a new player. So where to fish? Like I said, the Velia Hotspot is probably the best. Uh, you can also go to the Aferia Sea later on. You are going to want a fishing boat for that. That's not really an AFK fishing spot. That's more of an active fishing spot. But for AFK fishing, you can't really go wrong with the Velia Hotspot. 
there's a lot of fishers online, like on Reddit and in the forums that can help you figure out where the best places to fish are, how to set it, show you how to set up your uh, contribution points so that your nodes are all connected so you can sell your fish in the most optimal manner and all these other things, especially if you get into active fishing. But for AFK fishing, for the basics, the Velia hotspot can't go wrong. And currently, uh, as of this video, the event where we're catching koi over at Ellie's Mystical Lake Festival is absolutely incredible and it cannot be missed. Anyways guys, that's the basics of AFK, AFK fishing. You will make millions and millions of silver a day by AFK fishing just by following the fairly basics guide of this video. Uh, there are other things you can look up, but for the most part, AFK fishing is a very simple task. It is probably the easiest AFK life skill to set up in the game, as well as one of the most profitable for people that go away from their computers for long amounts of time. So hopefully this guide was helpful to you. Subscribe if you liked it, and have a good one.